it's Linda with Salty Seattle and today we are making a lattice patterned annulotti and you may be wondering what on earth is that? Annulotti is a filled pasta that's really easy to make that is from Piemonte, Italy and the lattice pattern is just what you think. We're going to put this really funky sort of striped lattice on the exterior of our annulotti and you can be ambitious and do the lattice pattern along with us in this video because you'll learn everything step by step how to do it or if you want to you can just practice your annulotti making skills because you're going to learn both. Let's jump in. Every time you're using the pasta machine, you go from the widest setting on down to a narrower and a narrower setting until you have something that resembles the thinness of the pasta that you ultimately want to eat. So I have sheeted both of my pasta doughs out to about the middle setting on the pasta machine. And at this point, we're going to create the lattice pattern. So our orange or our harissa dough is going to be our base sheet and then our blue or our butterfly pea flower dough is going to become the strips that make the lattice. And in order to do that, I have to put the spaghetti cutter onto my pasta machine. So most everybody who has a pasta machine has a few different attachments on it that cut different widths of noodles. And this one cuts noodles that are about the thinness of spaghetti. If you don't have this, you can uh, hand cut the noodles. I have our butterfly pea flour dough about to go through the machine to make thin strips. And now I'm using a little bit of water uh, across my base sheet so that when I use my strips of butterfly pea flour dough to create our lattice pattern, they will actually adhere to that base sheet. I'm just gonna get the beginnings of our lattice pattern going and so we're gonna go all one direction first and then all the second direction and this is just literally making a lattice the same way you would do, I think, if you're building a fence. This is probably how people build fences. Who knows? I'm just gonna trim and clean up and those can um, either be reused or you can give them to your chickens like I do. All right, so now that we have our lattice pattern positioned onto our base sheet, we're just gonna use our rolling pin to kind of make sure that that pattern is nice and stuck together before we pull it up off of the surface. And anywhere that it felt a little bit of sticky, you can just put a little bit more flour to make sure that nothing is going to stick to the pattern and ruin it. So now, pulling it back up off of my surface here. And we're gonna go back through the machine. Pull it narrower and narrower. I sheet that out to about the second thinnest setting on the pasta machine. And you can see that the pattern really transforms itself and it's very much superimposed on the base sheet. And now it's time to learn how to fill annulotti. So if you were just working with plain old basic pasta dough, you could start the recipe at this point. So before I put my filling onto the pasta dough, I like to make a little bit of a line with the flour where the filling's gonna go. And that just helps the, the pasta sheet itself to not get too soggy. So I'm gonna magically pipe two lines of filling on at the same time. So I just made myself two little tracks right there. And then you can fill these with whatever your heart desires. This time we've got a nice ricotta nutmeg parmigiano reggiano mixture. Okay, so I just like to use these disposable piping bags. Just trim off the tip. We're gonna pipe a line right across the sheet, just like that, so easy. So this is always the part where I love to show people annulotti because you can see that we're really gonna make a lot in one setting. So now we are gonna roll our pasta sheet over the filling, just like so. We're gonna do it on both sides, trying not to get filling on your fingers as you roll. There we go. Cool, okay. So now we've essentially created little pockets and we need to cut these into individual pieces of filled pasta. There are two different kinds of annulotti. One of them is called annulotti dal plin and that just means um, pinched, where you pinch with your fingers like this. But I actually find from a uniformity and consistency perspective, using little dowels that sort of stand in as your fingers almost works better. And the thing about the dowels, if you've 
fat fingers like I do, then um, they can kind of cheat that and gives you like a nice kind of um, perfect little pinch without getting your nails in there or you know your 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 big fat man hands. You can probably picture it now, but each one of these little pinches becomes our eventual little annulotto. Okay, so now we're ready to cut. And here you have options. You can cut using a straight rolling cutter if you want, or if you want a funky zigzag pattern and you have a fluted rolling cutter like this, you can use that. We're just gonna go straight across, cutting at our seams that we just created with our dowels. And if you don't have the little dowels, you can do what Italians traditionally do and use your fingers. All we have left to do is cut one strip straight down the middle. There you have it, these annulotti are all finished and ready to go. They're ready to eat in about 30 minutes, but you can store them for up to 24 hours uncovered in the refrigerator. And if you like what you see here, please join me on all forms of social media. My name is Salty Seattle. See you later.